Hello, and welcome back to another Harmonic Quick Bits. Today we're going to take a look at the pentatonic. Not like the pentatonic lesson I posted before, which you can find the link right here, which discusses all five positions of the pentatonic in position. But this time we're going to take the different fragments of the pentatonic and work it across the fretboard. So for this, let's take a look at the first four notes on the first two strings, low E and A string, and let's establish the five shapes that we get. Now, these five shapes can be moved in octaves. Let's take a look at that. Now the next point is to add another note, another pentatonic note, out of the four notes that were selected with each shape. For this we have a different way of working. We can add a note before we play the shape, or we can add the note after we play the shape. We can do this in a descending and an ascending fashion. Let me demonstrate what I mean. For the descent, I usually do it the other way around. I play my box shape and then I add a note with a slide or with a pick. Here it is. Or you can add a slide before the shape, resulting into a different feel or, of course, depending on what idea you play, necessity. Let's take a look at that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
course, this is a lot of material that I just showed. And it's important that you just start with something familiar. Maybe just take the simple box shape I started the example with and just move it around the fretboard and connect the different pentatonic ideas with that. From there on, just branch out and add the other pentatonic positions. It's a really nice and smooth way to get across the fretboard, and it has more of a lyrical quality rather than a ascending, descending kind of scale thing that you play, you know, with a particular technique. So it, it adds something to your playing. I have a lot of different licks with, the, with these ideas prepared because this is one of my favorite styles to play a pentatonic, and they're all coming up in future lessons. But of course, you can find all the material to this lesson and other lessons on my Patreon site. But for now, happy practice, and I'll see you soon.